guys, welcome back to the channel. And in today's video, I will be showing you how to get Notability's premium plan, also known as the subscription plan, for free on any iOS device. Now recently, Notability has switched over to their subscription plan and have made the application free on all iOS devices. Now there's this little glitch in here that gets it for free without any subscription plan on iOS 12 and below. But sadly, if you have an iOS 13 or above device, this will not work. But in order for this to work on an iOS 12 or below device, you do need to have an iOS 13 device or higher. So right now I'm using an iPhone 6 on iOS 12.5.5, which I will verify right now. And I also have my iPhone SE 2020 on iOS 15.2. Now there's no jailbreak or anything required for this. You just need to have an iOS 13 or above device and an iPhone with an iOS 12 or below device. So what you're gonna wanna do first is head on into the App Store. And if the Notability says free on here, you just wanna go ahead and then install that on your iOS 13 or above device. Go ahead and install that and make sure, verify that it is on your device here, as you can see. And when I open this up, it's showing that I need to subscribe in order to continue using this app after the limit expires. And when I go into all these other settings, it is blocked by a subscribe button. So now that we have installed it on the 13 point uh, zero and above device you can go ahead and delete that you just need to purchase it on this device so you can then install it on the ios 12 or below device the reason for this is because notability when they updated it to their free version and subscription plan it requires ios 13 or above and they ditched ios 12 and below so ios 12 and below um, use an older version of notability and that does not come with any subscription blockage or any premium plans uh, installed or uh, within the app. So go into the app store on your iOS 12 device or below and then search for Notability. And then right here, go ahead and then click on the cloud icon to install it. You'll be prompted with this. The current version requires 13 or later which is the current version that has the subscription plan uh, blocking everything, but you can download the last compatible version. So click download, and then we are going to wait for this to download on the iPhone. Now that it's installed, we'll open it up. And this works with iPad Mini 2 and a couple other iPads that uh, are on iOS 12 or below. So I'm just gonna go through all this, disable that, and here you go. Now when you go in here, there's no subscribe button. When you go into the settings, go into all these, uh, you get all the themes. You don't have to worry about uh, any subscription blockage, see, on auto backup. There is no subscribe button anymore. You can just go ahead and then click any of the auto backup services. And then you can go ahead and freely edit any document you want without any limits in which they've put on the subscription plan. So as you can see, um, everything is working. There's no subscribe button. And this will continue to work as I, Notability isn't being updated for iOS 12 devices anymore. So that is good. and. This also works on iOS 10. So any device on iOS 12 and below. So this is my iPhone 5 right here, which I will go ahead and verify with you. And this is on iOS 10.3.4. And here in Notability, when I open it up, there is no subscribe button here. And the auto backup, there is no subscribe button. So I can freely edit any document draw, do whatever, write notes on this uh, Notability application without any subscription plans. So that is it for this tutorial. It's just a little glitch that I wanted to share with you guys. 
Uh, if you have any comments, questions, or concerns, leave it in the comment section below. Thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, and I'll see you next time.